Hi there, this is for January the 20th, and I ask you to view these as paintings like I always do. And also, this is for a subscriber friend of mine, uh, one with a cat on his profile picture. It seems as if this is a beginning day for him. Some odd years ago, he was born on this day. So this, in part, is for you. Invisibility is the best advantage. But if forced into a confrontation, come out with all your skill. There was one roadside vendor who was selling rheumatism formulas to passerbys. He was a cheery old man at his spot faithfully for years. One day, a young bully came along and began to harass this vendor. The old man tried very hard to avoid this confrontation. But eventually the bully became convinced that he found himself a coward that he could abuse as he pleased. When the moment of attack came, the old man defeated him with superior boxing skills. Even more significantly, the old man was never seen again. He had manifested his superiority at a critical moment. But once he had exposed himself, he had just disappeared. In this competitive world, it is best to just be invisible. Go throughout life without showing off, attracting attention to yourself or making flamboyant gestures. This will only attract the hostility of others. This type of action will only cr go through life without showing off, attracting attention to yourself or making flamboyant gestures. These things will only attract the hostility of others. The wise accomplish everything they want without arousing the envy and scorn of others. They make achievements only for the sake of fulfilling their inner yearnings. Yet it is inevitable that you will have to prove yourself at one time or another. When it is necessary, then you must marshal all your skills and do your very best. Prove yourself when it is demanded. And when you must prove yourself, be superior. At that time, it is no time to talk of philosophy and humility. Act and do, and then fade back into invisibility. Act and do, and then fade back into invisibility. So that was the first half, and this is the second half. Can I get a little visibility here? By the way, I wore my kitty shirt for you. <laughs> Let us not follow vulgar leaders, okay? Who exploit the fear of death and promise the bliss of some sort of salvation. If we are truly happy, they will have nothing to offer. Some leaders use threats to win adherents. They evoke death to force good behavior and they herd people toward some sort of paradise. And others woe with grand promises. If you have no satisfaction, then they offer bliss. If you feel inadequate, then they offer you success. If you are lonely, they offer acceptance. But if we don't fear death and we're happy, really what do these leaders have to offer? Your spirituality is an organic part of daily life not something dispensed by a professional. The true spirituality is liberation, not just from the delusions of reality, but from the delusions of religion as well. If we attain freedom from a few things, from the freedom of the fear of death, from a sound way of being healthy, like eating real food, and a path of understanding through life, there is happiness and no need for proclaimed leaders. There is happiness, and there isn't really any need for proclaimed leaders. See you next time. Bye.